Uh, the next one will be um, Florian from uh, Marmelab. Florian and, and uh, Alain from Marmelab. And uh, from uh, letiel.com. Hi, Florian. So uh, Florian will present us the, let's say, uh, a developer way to bench their energy consumption. So we will go, they will go maybe more in detail in this topic of measurement. So hi, Florent. Hi, Alain. Alain, sorry. Hello. <laughs> no problem. Uh, Florent, if you want to share some slide. Yeah, so doing that. I talk about Argos a few minutes ago, so. Yeah, thank yeah. you. We've been hearing you, and thank you for talking about Argos. <laughs> this is the perfect, uh, nice, perfect planning. <laughs> Good transition. Okay. Okay. Is Cherry joining us on stage? I don't know. We'll see. Um, anyway, good afternoon to everyone. I'm Florian. Uh, you can see Alan there, and Thierry will come in the middle of the, uh, the conference, I guess. Um, and we are here to show you how we handle energy consumption measurements with the tools we built, which is named Argos. Um, basically, uh, Argos puts your application on a test bench. It measures its output, and it helps understand where energy is spent. Um, and here comes Thierry. Uh, even if we can't see you, we like to believe you are all eager to see what it's like. So we start with a demo, and then only we will explain you why and how we built Argos. So let's go. Um, I've got a web app. It's a kind of medium clone. You know the blogging platform. Uh, and we took it from the real world project that you may know and you can find on GitHub, it's open source. It's a basic web app. It has a Node API, a Mongo database, and a React front end. Uh, it also has an automated end-to-end -end test suite. End-to-end uh, -end test simulates an actual user browsing our app. And let's go. We can install Argos on our app with a single light command directly from our project directory. And then configure it with a simple YAML file, just like most continuous integration systems. Then another single line command to launch Argos. And you will see that tests just start to run. Well, Actually, this is an illustration. You won't see them run at all because within Argos, it all happens under the hood. As you can see on this slide, it collects a lot of data about CPU, memory, network, disk IOs, and it stores it all in JSON files. They are organized by project, revision, and sample run. Project is, well, your project, uh, the name of your project. The revision is a particular version of it. And since Argos actually executes your test many times, uh, each run has its own folder, as you can see, with the numbers. All we need to do now is to send those files to a server so that they can be interpreted. And it's still a single line command. And Argos will generate reports like this one. Here we can see two revisions of um, the Medium clone app, the one I was talking to you about uh, first. Initial code is the uh, actual working app. Uh, and broken is with a few issues we, int we introduced. Uh, we introduced them on purpose to test Argos. We also get an estimated energy consumption for that test run. And even more details, enabling you to dig deeper if you want to fix a particular issue. Like uh, you can see uh, this consumption repartition graph. Or even more precise technical metrics for each app of the layer. Uh, each layer of the app, I mean. <laughs> uh, here you can see it for the device uh, layer that enables you to compare two revisions of your app 
and identify where the culprit is. So let's see. Um, you can see on the right the broken revision of the real world app. Um, the device uses almost three times more network for the same scenario. Indeed, one of the issues we introduced was the device fetching too much information. So test passed. Know that you've had a peek at what Argos does. I'm going to hand over to Alan, which will explain you why we built yet another measurement tool. Your turn, Alan. Yeah. So why did we, did we make Argos? So it was for the Sustainable Digital Challenge, and it was organized by Apex Days. It was in uh, 2000. And 20, it was a three month challenge with uh, theoretical workshops and a project to present to uh, examiners. And we also had mentors to help us when needed. So, our first aim in this challenge was to improve the carbon footprint of IPI platform admin and React admin. Um, React admin is a front web framework to build a powerful admin back office. And IPI platform admin is built around React admin to provide an admin connected to a hypermedia API fully working with only a few lines of code. So our reasoning was the following. Uh, React admin is downloaded about uh, 35,000 times per week. And IPI platform admin is downloaded about uh, 2,500 times per week. So we estimated that there are currently, right now, about uh, 1,000 projects uh, using them. So if we make some uh, carbon dioxide savings for this project, the result is uh, greatly increased. So we made some improvements uh, for these two projects. Um, for example, for React Admin, uh, we added an applicative cache. And uh, for IPI Platform Admin, uh, we added a request multiplexing system to, uh, to solve the famous uh, N plus one problem. And you can see the two PR uh, on the slide. And then we wondered, uh, how much did we did we gain? Uh, we, we we knew that these improvements uh, were great, but we didn't know if uh, we really uh, did improve something, and how much did it contribute to the environmental impact? We we didn't know, so we needed to measure uh, the improvements we made. So our, our first idea um, was to use existing echometrics. Um, there are already a lot of tools. Uh, you saw them in the previous presentation, uh, like Ecometer, Ecoindex, Inspector, Power API. Um, they are nice, and they are nice for environmental awareness, but they don't really give uh, accurate and complete measure, both accurate and complete measurements. And, and in fact, they didn't allow us to, to do what we needed because of four shortcomings. Um, the first one is because of the partial view. Uh, the existing tools only measure one part of the footprint, or of the, footprint. Um, the client, the server or the network. And we know that if we reduce one part, we don't it's not necessarily uh, a good thing because we can have what we call a pollution transfer. Um, making an improvement in one part can move the problem in another part. Uh, the, the second point is the conflicting models. Um, if we use different tools for the server side and the client side, uh, it's not really possible possible to aggregate them 
um, because these models cannot be aggregate, aggregated. Um, so it's not possible to, to use different tools. Um, the third point is um, that the existing tools cannot really be automated. Um, for the most part, uh, they are manual one-shot uh, one shot audits. So we, we cannot use them, for example, in a, in a CI, in continuous integration. And the last point is um, unverified assumptions. Um, some existing tools are based on metrics and these metrics cannot easily be correlated with the energy uh, consumption. Um, like, for example, the number of uh, DOM nodes. Um, so, yeah, with some tools cannot be really trusted. And so we decided to make our own tool that we name Argos. And by the way, uh, it won the Sustainable Digital Challenge. Um, yeah, in the certificate, the title is not quite right. So uh, Florian, can you fix that, please? Uh, yeah. <laughs> A little lag. Um, yeah, thank you. That's better. So yeah. Uh, we are proud to, to have won this challenge. So now I will win, I will hand over to Thierry for the next part. Yes. So, uh, how do we measure the energy consumption of a digital system? In order to get a complete view, uh, as opposed to a partial one, we need to measure everything: the CPU, the memory, the network traffic, as well as the disk access. And we need to measure it everywhere, on every single brick of the system. The API, the database, the cache, even the proxy. And most importantly, on the client. But how can we measure what our application consume on the end user device? Maybe if we ask the user nicely. Dear user, can we install a root level diamond on your device along with your app? It's to measure its energy consumption. Thanks for your cooperation. That's not going to work right. It is pretty much impossible to measure energy consumption on the client. We just don't have access to the device, at least not in production. In that case, we just need to measure it in our own controlled environment, an environment that will mimic real production usage. By providing the ability to package and run application in a loosely isolated component called a container, Docker allows us to do just that. With Docker, we can put the server, the database, even the client, every brick of the digital system into a container. And with Docker Compose, we can orchestrate the whole system. In order to avoid conflicting models, we need to collect the metrics using a single tool. And Docker not only gives us a complete environment, it also allows us to monitor it. Thanks to the Docker API, we can get a stream of state for every container. In this stream of data, we have it all, CPU, memory, network, and disk, everything we need. Now we also need to re simulate real case usage in order to have realistic data. For that, we need an automation tool like Cypress to pilot the system following a given scenario. For instance, for an e-commerce site, we should simulate browsing a product list, searching for a product, clicking on a few results, adding a few items to the shopping cart, and finally checking out. We also need to run the scenario a dozen times to get a strong, accurate signal and reduce the standard deviation. With all this, we have all the metrics we need. But how do we interpret them? We want to avoid unverified assumption, so we need a proven way to combine all metrics into a coherent whole. But how can we combine CPU usage, memory usage, data transmission over the network, and quantity of data rated on red on the disk. It's like trying to add apples and oranges. It has no meaning. But apples and oranges can both be converted into calories. Then it becomes possible to combine and compare them. It is the same for metrics. We need to convert them into a single unit, 
web per hour. As it's the same unit for all components of the system, we can add web per hours of all components to get an overall energy consumption of the digital system. We've worked with French computer scientists. These researchers have spent countless hours reading the scientific literature on the subject. Then they assembled a unique model of the environmental footprint of digital systems. We are confident that our model is solid, as much as the papers it's based on. Finally, we want Argos to be automatable. After all, for the measure to be useful, it needs it need to be done regularly and automatically. Argos will offer to be part of the continuous integration workflow just like test. This way, developers will, be, will see the impact of their changes at the development stage and will be able to react accordingly. Here you have it all. Our goals will allow to measure energy consumption in an efficient and useful way. Thank you, Thierry. So where is Argos at, Freddy? Um, OK. <laughs> well, Argos is still early stage uh, and just demonstrates a proof of concept. It's not quite ready for prime time yet, but we think it's very promising. Uh, so we're starting using it in more applications with a few of our close customers in order to get feedback and to fine tune our model. Uh, we intend to use it for other developments uh, rather soon because we want to build more sustainable software for our customers and we believe Argos will help us do exactly that. We plan to, we plan to keep investing on it so that it becomes even better. Yeah, we have some serious PowerPoint skills, trust us. Um, whatever. <laughs> we especially want uh, to prove that our model is useful and we need more real use cases for that. We want to improve its usability. It's still quite confidential and it needs more documentation and care to be usable by everyone. And we want uh, to have better integration with developers' tools, just like Cherry said, we dream Argos will be integrated to the CI tool chain. And I've seen a message saying it couldn't even make the build fail. Um, and we want to be able to link features and code with energy consumption more easily. We need to pinpoint where efforts have to be made. And that's it. Here, you know it all. We hope this preview caught your attention. And if you're curious and want to know more about Argos, just get in touch with us. Thank you. Thank you, Florent. Thank you for your time and for your presentation. So maybe if you want to share some, link, some links on uh, the chat, please do that. For example, your GitHub or as you want. Yeah, we'll um, share Argos because we didn't say it yet, but it's open source, just like it's everything we do. Good news. <laughs> so uh, let's let's take some uh, question. Um, I have pink my Argos. <laughs> I have a question for you. So thank you. This is a great example of what can be done in the challenge. So it's it was a very good uh, advertising for the challenge. Thank you for that. And we are very happy to see that new tools are coming. Because as I said previously, there is no, no tools enough on the market. So it's very good to see uh, Argos and to see that you think about the, let's say, the, the next step, which, which is the CI-CD process. Mm -hmm. So my question is uh, that I know that Argos is a proof of concept, but is it a tool for a developer only? Or is it possible for a non-tech like me, I'm product manager, uh, to run it and to test it? For now, uh, it's developer-oriented. It means that, uh, yeah, because we're developers and we needed a tool, so we made it for us. <laughs> but, because we have tools for non-developer, so it's great that there is tool yeah. for developers. <laughs> but as you can see on the last versions, uh, you can see the what hours consumption. Uh, and it's our way to talk to non-technical persons. Uh, yeah. The goal is to have either technical metrics or uh, green metrics. I don't know how you could call them. And to propose both 
uh, with um, but from uh, the same mechanism. Okay. Yeah, and, and and like any other two uh, other technical tools, if they are uh, used, uh, if they are a lot, uh, then we can have a beautiful interface and we can present them to product manager and yeah. so yeah. For, for now, it's technical, but maybe later it will be uh, it will be for everyone. Okay. That's right. Thank you. Um, let me check if there is another answer, a question. Um, yes, yeah, so I have a question in, in mind. Um, Argos is uh, focusing right now on uh, electricity consumption. And did you think about introducing, uh, for example, electricity map API? API to to let's say transform electricity to carbon. Uh, yes to and yes and no. Um, uh, uh, we are aware that what uh, people are looking for is the total energy consumption of uh, their whole IT, and we are aware that nobody can do that yet. No. So um, Argos is just a test bench. It just simulates mm -hmm. an environment and nothing more yet we would like to also give another tool which could transform that, that those test bench results into um, a, a production simulation but that's another tool to our eyes okay thank you uh thank you thank you so yes you already answered to the question regarding the name so who find the name <laughs> who found the uh, name? it's uh, it's me <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, so but, uh, uh, yeah. maybe you can explain why. Uh, yeah, it's uh, from uh, the mythological giant Argos, uh, who, had, uh, who had 100 ace, and so uh, everything it missed, it did not miss uh, any uh, details. So the name uh, comes from him. We hope we won't miss any details either. Yeah, it's uh, it's our goal. <laughs> we will see if we can uh, light up to it or not. Okay, thank you. Uh, thanks a lot. So we have one minute left, but I think I'm just checking if there is a other, other question. Yes, yeah, so Mehdi said that you are a new relic for energy consumption. Kind of, but not in production. <laughs> not in production. Uh, you start. It will come. Uh, okay, thank you, guys. Thank you, Florent. Thank you, Thierry and Alain, for your time. And I uh, hope to Thanks. see you uh, in the, let's say, in the next challenge. Maybe you can be some good mentors or yeah, showing well, your tool. Yeah, well, yeah, well, <laughs> thanks a lot, guys, and, uh, and uh, thanks for your presentation. <laughs>